It would have cost the ministry $75 million to implement the Educational Management Information System, EMIS. But Minister in the Ministry of Education, Dr. Lavelle Francis, said they found a way to reduce the cost. We started to hatch a plot to see if we could actually do this right here with our own expertise without expending anything close to $75 million. The fantastic thing about having a building this size with workers in the hundreds, I'm not sure how many hundreds, PS 800, yeah, is that you have all, and the weird thing about the public service is that you have all kind of competencies here sitting on quiet, quiet as clock one and clock two. He lamented, though, that the largest ministry in the country is far from being efficient. But he's hopeful the introduction of EMIS would be the first step to fix this problem. Education is a massive ministry. We are extremely bureaucratic. Everything here is a manila folder. Everything makes a, takes a million years. Working here is oftentimes tremendously frustrating. And it's not because of the people, because we are fantastic people. It's because of the processes we've had since 19, before any of us were born. Minister of Education Anthony Garcia said there's a need to have active communication among parents, stakeholders and the school system. There will be the constant flow of information. Parents, they will know exactly what is going on in the school. They will be able to communicate with their children, the students themselves will be better able to communicate with their parents and also with their teachers. So communication, information, those are the, those are the real pillars upon which the system is built. With EMIS, parents and guardians will have the ability to log in and view their children's timetables, events, assignments, examination results and report cards. Dr. Francis said very soon the platform will allow the introduction of e-books to avoid the use of heavy textbooks. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.